Hello everybody and welcome back to Zombie Army 4. Well, when we left off after uh, yesterday's video, I was sitting at roughly rank 12 or 13. I don't really remember off the top of my head. But uh, as you can see in the upper right corner here, I am currently rank 16. And the reason why is because the other day I went into horde mode strictly for the purpose of uh, gaining a couple levels to uh, unlock our third perk slot here. And I did that mostly because of uh, this chapter's challenge where we have to stomp and kill 10 creepers. Now while that doesn't seem like a hard task on uh, medium difficulty, it is kind of dangerous. So that's why I felt we needed the third perk. Uh, I put hardened in this uh, slot to reduce the uh, incoming melee damage we will most certainly receive. I've got extra health and of course second chance just in case we need a couple revives in the process of this uh, challenge. I've already done the uh, upgrades for the weapons so we are ready to get in the game. Yeah, so this is another one of those safe rooms where you gotta wait for the recording dialogue to finish before the light turns green and it allows you to exit. So while they're chit-chatting, uh, might as well open some crates and try to get some grenades and uh, grab our med kit as is tradition. All right, we can now exit, so let's go stomp some creepers. That scene there always reminds me of uh, one of the raptor scenes out of Jurassic Park tearing somebody apart. The appearance of the hellstorm may have shorted the electrical circuit. I suggest you find the breakers and attempt to reset them. All right, so we've got our compass icon in the top mid pointing us in the direction of these breakers, but I think what we're going to do here is we're going to stick to the right wall and we're just going to hug this all the way around the room. Now we're doing this for two reasons. Uh, one, it's going to take us to where all the breakers are. And two, we're going to avoid the middle of the room where we could potentially get caught by larger groups of creepers instead of taking them out in ones and twos. down just want to make sure I don't want to get surprised here now we're gonna hit this uh, first breaker we're just gonna kind of take it easy we got one that just dropped from the ceiling All right, we've got seven. So now we're gonna exit here and we're just gonna keep hugging this right wall and carefully move through. I'm gonna check this room real quick for crates. There's our next breaker. Usually when you trip them, that's when the creepers come out. 
So I'm just gonna move very slowly and very carefully so I don't get surprised. I got one incoming. And that is our challenge done by the second breaker. So we don't have to worry about uh, shooting them anymore. But uh, we're going to continue to uh, hug the right wall in the same fashion to get these other breakers. will be uh, better for this job. All right, I think that's all of them for this area. We're just going to keep going to the right. And move toward our last breaker. one coming up behind me. Got one on my, two on my right. Check the crate to see if there's anything better here. Ah, uh, not really. And here we are. We're at our next breaker. That's it. Excellent work. Now press onwards into the Okay, from here we're going to follow our uh, mission objective icon. And uh, what we've done by hitting these breakers other than turning on the lights is we've opened a door. But this door you want to approach with caution because I'm pretty sure there is a heavy on the uh, other side of that door. So this is the door right here. And it's already open, so... I don't think I have time to plan a mine, but yep, here's a flamer. Alright, the flamer's down. We'll let the armored giants here come next to the tank do a takedown to get some health back And that is how it's done. Now we have a uh, flamethrower that we can uh, take with us to help take care of the uh, other hordes for a little bit longer. But uh, with 
Now that that's all done, uh, over here on this right hand side is our first collectible. You just come through the door and uh, in between these uh, stacks of uh, pallets and crates here is the first collectible, the comic book. Might actually replace the uh, incendiary grenades with these divine grenades. Now the divine grenades, uh, they're not exactly good for killing zombies, but the puddle it leaves behind, uh, it gives an effect where z zombies will take double damage that are standing in the puddle or affected by the uh, grenade blast. But you can also stand in the puddle and heal yourself. Yeah, there's nothing in that room. I honestly just wanted to check that crate. So now that we're up the stairs from the area we just were, after you come up the stairs, you'd want to turn right and come down the hallway where you see the uh, targets on the wall and this uh, shooting range area. And then you're going to come behind the desk and in the back closet over here. And on the uh, lower shelf is the uh, next collectible, the upgrade kit. Yeah, it's more like it. Grab the weapon attachment, get ammo. And we're ready to move on. Another Schleigers. No sign of the dock, though. <laughs> Zombie boxing. Here, let me help you get up that rope. Uh, there's nothing in there, just the bloody bathroom. Looks like it came from Saw or something. So we're just going to keep going back uh, to the uh, back area of this uh, room. And then we're going to come right into this uh, little school area. And you can see our next collectible showing us why most places don't have chalkboards and they switch to dry erase. There's our zombie hand. So the challenge is done. We've got the hand, the comic, and the upgrade kit. So we're just lacking the document, but that's gonna come a little bit further in the mission. Another one. Come on. All right, now if you notice, the stairs fall off right here. So if you don't have your three collectibles or the challenge completed, don't proceed past this point and fall off the stairs because you can't go back and go do it. Alright, for this area, 
there's a little tactic here that if you just kind of stand in the middle right here most of the zombies will avoid the stairs and they'll vault over the sandbags and land on the floor so you can kind of cause them to uh, stack up in this area in the front and make them easy pickings for the flamethrower Or you can stop them. I don't hear any more screams. Now that the zombies are dead, we just have to, Must be another one to find. hit the two switches. Uh, before I hit the other one, let's check the uh, big crate. So we're gonna hit the other switch and what that's done is that should have opened a set of doors back down the way we came there's a door on the left so you don't get flanked but there's gonna be a lot of zombies that come out of these Oh, there's a big delay in the uh, seal actually opening, so we've got about eight ammo left in the flamethrower. We don't need to take it with us anymore to have it continue to slow us down. So we're going to continue heading toward the research front wing. There's another fall off. I know I'm just trying to be like extremely cautious because I don't exactly remember if uh, there's another heavy or not. Damn, Schweiger must have sealed the tight behind me. Those plans show any other way into the lab? Not on these schematics. If you are in a military facility, you can find some heavy duty explosives. You could try and brute force your way through. For a med kit. Right, there's nothing in here. All right, now that we've uh, gotten healed up, I don't think we actually need those divine grenades anymore to uh, be safe, but. I don't know. We'll see what happens as we continue further. 
So we're looking for thermite charges now. I want to stack up so I can use my brain buster. So there's our first thermite charge on the table over here. So the uh, second charge is going to be kind of up here in this area, as is our next collectible. Uh, that's a and that's a heavy gunner up there. So we need to deal with him real quick. So now we've got a machine gun to walk around with. All right, so now the heavy gunner's been dealt with, that you can see on the uh, table. I'll come back out here to uh, show. So we came up these stairs, killed the gunner, and this uh, room right here with the uh, Nazi flag. So you're just going to come in here and uh, hook it left and you can see on the table is the uh, final collectible, the document. I actually think I want to replace these uh, divine grenades with the uh, frags. All right, now let's uh, move to uh, get the second thermite charge in this other larger door so you don't get confused with the other one we just came from. And we found a preacher in that crate. We're actually going to do something with that and I'll explain what that is in a minute. But uh, here's our other thermite charge. 
And now we've got our mission icon to uh, move back to the uh, area we just came from to place them on the door we're trying to go through. So we're going to head back down the stairs and uh, go back to the uh, initial room where we got the uh, this objective. I, already, I see the creeper up there. I'm just going to let him chase. Uh, I want to conserve some of this uh, machine gun ammo since uh, I don't have the uh, heavy perk I've used perks to uh, help with uh, other areas so right here is where we're gonna place the charges but we're not gonna do that yet what we're gonna do is we're gonna stage our machine gun and then we're gonna go back to that crate to get the preacher because once we place these charges uh, there's well, there's no doors here. You're gonna get the green grayish fog uh, in this hallway and that hallway of zombies spawning while those uh, charges work to open the door. And you're gonna be confined to this room, so you're not gonna be able to move about and go back to get the preacher uh, once you've uh, started that. So we just stage the machine gun, and now we're gonna go back to the uh, crate. Creeper down. And go grab the preacher and take this over to our objective so we have two heavy weapons to work with for uh, God knows what's going to come at us from the uh, those spawns. Mistake. in here our attachment all pretty useful from the sniper rifle I'll put it down right there. All right, now that we're set up, we are ready to get this started. Let's plant the thermite charges on the door. Thermite set. Defending my position. As you can see now, we're blocked off. We're confined to this area. So we just have to defend while the thermite charges do their thing. Come over here and check my uh, backside. Nothing spawning over here as of yet. You again. Those look almost done, so might as well grab the preacher. Get some use out of it. Objective accomplished. Alright, the objective's done. They're just gonna keep coming. You don't really have to 
stay there and fight them unless you just really want to sit there for points. But uh, as you can see, we're hitting our safe room and the uh, chapter is now complete. So we got uh, all the collectibles. We managed to survive the uh, creep this challenge and stomp 10 creepers. Uh, I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.